Hi, my name is Suela, owner and founder of Suela Wines. I'm a biotechnologist, I'm a winemaker, and I'm a wine enthusiast. Um, so basically, today's topic is about bentonite, the use of bentonite when finding our wines. So uh, this is basically the process um, that is very, very important, especially before we bottle our wines. So remember that you can make wine at home, you can make wine in a garage, you can make wine in a cellar, depending on your resources available to you. So without making this whole subject rather complicated for a beginner, I just want to touch base with regards to why do we find our wines. So when we're making wine, we will find that as soon as our fermentation process is completed, together with that of the maturation process, the wine will remain cloudy, most especially for white wines. This, therefore, affects the quality of the wine, it affects the way we view a wine, it affects the brightness of our, of our wine, and for consumption purposes, it will definitely affect um, the quality aspect of it. It will affect the appreciation of that particular wine being produced. This must, might not necessarily affect the, the, the quality of the wine or therefore the taste of the wine, but it just takes away that sense of appreciation when one is enjoying a glass of wine. So sometimes what winemakers would do, they will go for options, they would go for some, out, some of the finding agents that are out there. There are many other available, commercially available finding agents that one can use. So we have used here, this is a process that we have followed through the months and we are producing wine from oranges. So this wine was rather very, very colorful. So, I mean, you can imagine with all the pigments from the orange oranges and it's, it's been like two days since it's been, we've been, we've added bentonite in here. So it therefore, what it would do is that bentonite works in, it's a scientific thing that occurs, right? So when we add our bentonite into our wine and then the bentonite gets hydrated. So hydrated in the sense it just means that, you know, we, int we introduce water to it. So the bentonite will, will become negatively charged in terms of ions. So, and then it therefore binds with the positively charged compounds that are in the wine. So that's what's causing the cloudiness, the haziness, because the compounds in here that are causing the cloudiness are charged in the same way. So by introducing bentonite, it therefore binds to these compounds and therefore you will see that, you know, there would be also some sediments that would go at the bottom. So basically, that's why we have to find our wine and in a couple of weeks, we should expect to see a clearer wine. I must also emphasize that the amount of bentonite you're going to add into your wine will depend very much on the amount of wine you're looking to find and therefore also, uh, well, basically how clear or how cloudy the wine is. And also, uh, if we end up using more bentonite than required it might affect the taste of the wine it might also affect the color of the wine and it might also cause some tetrate instabilities in our wine so it's always very important to add the required amount of bentonite in a commercial scale these measurements are calculated and estimated in a lab so a sample will be taken to the lab and a laboratory analyst will perform what we call a protein uh, stability analysis and that is how well not that not protein stability analysis but that's one of them and then um that will be and then there will also be a measure of how much bentonites need to be added and after that after the estimation then we would also do a protein stability analysis um so basically that's just it about how we can find our wines and why we should be finding our wines and i hope that you found this content rather very informative and like i said my name is suela and i will be talking to you very uh, very soon regarding something else exciting informative about wine if you have found this content informative kindly do like comment share this video and subscribe to this